What's going on everyone, Vampire Gaming here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about OPO9 and just reviewing its like first week of legality in Japan. It came out on, I believe, the first, but it technically, a lot of stores, it isn't considered legal, so the flagships have been kind of up to the store's discretion on how they use them. So this is really just some early data, but I did want to go ahead and take a look. We're also going to go One Piece top decks, just get a good idea of the leaders that have been showing up. And then we're going to take a look at some deck lists here from accounts on X slash Twitter. I did just want to go ahead and show those just because it gives you a great idea on like who you can follow to kind of try to keep a pulse on the meta. But as you can see right away and from here too, you see Shanks is a decent amount of representation. People are already gravitating. Red is so back. And then you also have a decent amount. You know, one thing about Asia is they love to play new leaders. So they'll always give them a chance. You can see Buggy, Black Purple Luffy. But yeah, we'll look here. We do see uh, so far early ambitions. You see a lot of success from Shanks. We do start to see a little bit later in Luchi starting to show back up. We do see a little bit of Blackbeard, so there is the potential there. And I think one of the most interesting things that I've seen so far also is Bello Betty. But yeah, we're going to take a look at some lists. You also see that ST10 Kid. I know Sir Dundo, if you're familiar, I mentioned him with this. And so yeah. A lot of different things here, a little bit of buggy, again, a lot of shanks, some bonnie, but let's go ahead, take a look at some lists. So first up, this was a three on three, so it's one of the few things that we miss here in the States. We got them for a little bit, and then they kind of took them away, but you can see here Raids you fully using that Maria, Maria, however you want to say it. And we see Shanks. I'm a big believer in the new gate in Shanks. And it's also interesting because they just opted for none of the events. And then overall relatively standard package. It looks like they're playing Dragons over some people opt to play 10 drop Roger. And then you see Luffy, Purple Luffy. And you see him just rocking some of those new cards. Magellan. I've mentioned Magellan before. But they want a three-on-three. Three. This one, I believe, first place was um, Buggy. Or no, this is Doflamingo. And then second, first place is... Yeah, this is a team's thing, too. First place was Bello Betty, Blue Dofi. Bello Betty's been seeing some success with the newer additions that allow them to trigger, I believe, without paying a cost. So the triggers are a bit more effective without having to discard a card, and you get the new Koala, which is relatively good. And, of course, you have Karasu, who, if he sticks, is insane. But then, of course, Dofi is really strong, OPO 8.5, and he really just puts in work. Then you got Anel. We've got another Dofi. Shanks, it looks like they didn't include the list, but they did mention that he plays to Roger and then again Delphi. So it seems in like team events, a lot of people are gravitating towards Do Flamingo. This one opting for Boa and then Anel. Yeah, this one was Delphi. And then we've got Gamers RZ. This is actually a really cool They uh, They post, like, again, you can kind of get an idea of their events. Um, their turnouts, you see Shanks is the most represented, then by the Blue Dolphy, so it's kind of going to Shanks, Dolphy type format. This was just a couple days ago. You see here, second place, first place was Nami, so Rush isn't doing what it needs to. Nami's still just with that new Nami card really good, so you get a good idea of Nami, Doflamingo. I believe I have these semi. These are like the teams, and then I have them sorted. So it should be a little bit more sense, but these were, you got, yeah. Uh, Blue Dofi. This is just, again, to kind of give you like an idea of the deck list. Shanks. Again, we're seeing they're not opting for Roger, but uh, they are playing the new, of course, Ben Beckman, which is insane. Dragon, Rayleigh. And then we've got... Red Purple Luffy. Red Purple Luffy starts to show up a little bit later. I think that everybody's trying to figure out what's the best approach for him. Because this card is very good. This leader is very good, in my opinion. I think it's just better Shanks. And then, so here we are. Here's a buggy list. And you get a good idea. They're playing, of course, all of the four drops. 
Jozu's an interesting choice. Of course, Pilaf for the value. And then Kaya, all of that. But yeah, Blue Dolphy, or Blue, him one. And then here we've got Shanks. You see, they, they opted to play this time around. This one, a little bit earlier in the format, playing four of the ace. He's sticky, but you also play four Zoro. Or, yeah, four Zoro. Because then you can play this, and then it usually sticks because they just want an organic swing, or it takes all their Dawn because you can just use that. But if they try to just use their regular swing to peel a card, they're not going to get it because of Shank's ability, and he's going to gain value next turn. So they played a huge rush package on this one, of course, with the Roger as well and Kid Killer. So hugely different approach, and then we see Bonnie utilizing the new uh, nine drop shanks from the uta decks and of course the carrot that we'll never get to see here carrot was an interesting choice but you do get to play it off of eight drop which they don't even play but yeah it does give you a dawn back so it is another body to facilitate that while being a two car and then of course more red shanks lots of shanks deck lists you can see here, again, they're opting for four dragons, so they're going full rush, no relay, and also just a tech one of with them. And then pretty, again, pretty standard, the full suite here of the new red cards, winning that serial ace. And then again, again, this is relatively formatted, so pretty decent. And then we've got here going to relay. They're also playing the two 10 drops. Uh, I've been seeing this show up a little bit later in the packages. And then also they're playing, I think this is Baccarat. I believe this is Baccarat. Maybe it's the other one. But this one, very good. It's a film. And it does minus. It's a blocker that does minus when you play it. And so it combos really well with this new gate. I'm a firm believer on this new gate. I also like nine drop new gate, but that's just a me thing maybe. But, yeah, people are playing this. And then more Shanks. Again, it's pretty formatted, but they opted to go four. Four Roger, two of the regular Shanks, more of that Rush aggro build, and also opting to play Shariah, which we haven't seen in any of the previous builds. This is one of the winners. And again, Shanks. Again, I'm going to have this formatted. Try to like split it up in the video. So maybe look for a timestamp for some of the decks you're going to want to see. But again, he kind of dominated. I did find it interesting that they went with the one drop. This one was just like a three rounds local though. But they went with the one drop Nami. And they're also playing the five seven Vanilla. And they're playing some of the zero cost event, which I'm a fan of. And they're playing the full suite of Searchers. And then here, flagship, they won the five rounds, and they get their cereal. You've got that rush package, Dragon, Roger, 10 drop, Shanks, and they're playing Shariah. And then here we've got red, purple. They went uh, X1 in Swiss, then one out in top eight. And then you've got boom, three Sanji, Four, or that's four Sanji. You got this new Luffy, which is a rusher. Nine drop new gate, of course. A bit of the defensive, all of the ramp. But yeah, and you got this new event, which is a 4K counter that also lets you cycle two cards. And you also have the lead performance disaster, which is just a great card. But yeah, black, purple, red, black, red, black, red, purple. Yep. And you've got black, purple here. I found it interesting that they opted to play Stussy, which Stussy is a great removal body and a big body that you can play out relatively early. So I understand. I understand. Especially if you're going to Moria, you can set up yourself a Moria target and then do that because you're going to be using all these great cards to get up there and ramp. And you also have Maria, which is great for when you hit this. I found it interesting that they didn't go with Sabo. I feel like Sabo is just a really great card. But... You're playing all the ramp, and then you're just playing your top end. So, I guess it makes sense. And here we go. This was the interesting one. Was Smoker. Smoker's been showing up just a little bit here. We see a little Smoker list. They are also playing Stussy. 
So something to keep your eyes on. Also, Kuzan and Borsalino. I know Borsalino in English has actually been going up a lot with the latest decks that have been out. So something to keep your eyes on. Same thing here. You know, they're also playing Brook, Hina, and I'll just some really good cards. So, but yeah, you get this new Tashigi in the structure deck, and it's great to see one of these older leaders start to really take off. And then another smoker list here. This one went 4-2. But I did just want to include it, give you a good idea of what we're looking at in the meta. Again, very similar. No Bors. No Bors, but they are playing Sabo. And, of course, you have the T-Bone, the Searchers. You get that full value off of that Gecko. And then here's a Blackbeard. I know a lot of people are excited for Blackbeard. This one, I believe... Plays Laboon, yeah. And there are some that opted not to. You're playing Kaido, not playing Jack, but they are going all in on the Finger Pistol and the Tempest Kick because you have this, which kind of lets you start the filter. And, of course, you want to get cards in the trash for Burgess. So you can really build that. But, yeah, I found it really interesting that they're taking the Tempest Kick approach. I wouldn't have thought of that on just initial. And then, of course, these Finger Pistols again, Burgess, loading up your trash and removing bodies. Then we've got some nice Bello Betty. Bello Betty. So back here, you see some success. They went one, two, three, and then they lost in top eight, it looks like. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So they went four, and then, or they lost in the finals. But yeah, you get to see this, you know, you get the discard, gain 8,000, or they all your fives become eights and really put on pressure. And then we've got Lucci. We start to see Lucci come back a little bit, rocking the Jacks, rocking the Kaku, which we haven't seen in some time. Of course, those nice SPR Luchis. And no stage anymore. So the four Ice Age. These are the new Ice Age 2. It's in premium reprint booster. Same with these Subarus. They look great. I might have to get me some of these. I know Ice Age has actually become kind of expensive. So I'm really rating on. So we get the Smoker deck. Then we get this. And this card's really pretty. And the reprints really help. Because I think Ice Age is like $3. Oh no. This one's gone. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at Anel. Anel has also seen some success. Look at this. That's the definition of wealth. But yeah, they went and had did really good. They did use the six Robin, which is insane. But yeah, they went 4-0, uh, 4-1, 4-0, 2-0 in testing. So I did just want to go ahead and share this. And yeah, and then here is the last one. The winner was Lucci and then Black Smoker. So we got the Lucci list to Jack, which is interesting because I felt like he should be like a four of at one point, but I feel like that's only when Black is the dominant deck. And then we've got here Smoker also playing two Jack. It gives you that unique Sokka ability while also doing removal. And then you get these as well as one of, which is interesting. But the Smoker can't be removed, which is insane against Black. So, But yeah, as always, let me know what deck you're going to play in OPO9. Which list here was your favorite? And if you found this content value, you can do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot.